Do you have SIBO and are trying to determine which treatment to use? If this is the case, you may have come across the elemental diet when doing an internet search. It's one of the three standard approaches to treating SIBO, which are prescription antibiotics, herbal antimicrobials, and then the elemental diet. The purpose of this video is to give you a basic understanding of what the elemental diet is and then highlight some pros and cons of using it. This way you can hopefully make an informed decision about which treatment that you'd like to do. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Daniel Ricciardi. I'm a functional medicine practitioner who specializes in gut health. I'm a licensed pharmacist and also a fitness enthusiast. I help clients with bloating, gas, and other gut-related issues so they can feel and look their best. Small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, SIBO, and intestinal methanogen overgrowth, IMO, result from having too many bacteria in the wrong location. These microbes are meant to be found in very, very high quantities in the large intestines, however, not so much in the small intestines. When they are found in these high quantities in the small intestines, that's when you can get a lot of the bloating, gas, constipation, diarrhea, abdominal discomfort, and other symptoms. If you do have SIBO or IMO, removing that overgrowth is usually necessary before these symptoms will end up going away. One potential solution to doing this is using the elemental diet. When you think of a diet in a traditional sense, you think of something that you're gonna be using indefinitely or for a long period of time, or at least that's how I picture it. By this definition, the elemental diet isn't truly a diet because you're only actually gonna be using it for two to three weeks. An interesting fact about it, it's the only diet that's actually been proven to treat SIBO and remove that microbial overgrowth. This elemental diet is available commercially. There's a lot of different manufacturers and brands. It often comes in either a liquid or a powder form, often in packets or a large tub of powder. This product is a high calorie medical food slash meal replacement that's meant to be used instead of all other food for the duration of the treatment that is two to three weeks. The name elemental diet pretty much describes exactly what its contents are, which is nutrients as close to their pure, simplified, elemental form as possible. They've technically been pre-digested and that does make them very easy to digest and absorb. These nutrients include proteins, usually in the form of amino acids, includes fats, includes carbohydrates, usually in the form of maltodextrin or glucose, and also salt, vitamins, and minerals are gonna be included as well. The idea behind the elemental diet is they wanted to make a product so easy to be absorbed that it actually all gets digested and absorbed within the first few feet of the small intestines or first one meter. Depending on where you look online, the small intestines is usually somewhere between 18 to 22 feet long or about seven meters. This means that the microbes that are living in the other 17 feet or six meters of the small intestines essentially receive very little nutrients or food. Therefore, by plan, they'll hopefully starve, die off, therefore resolving the microbial overgrowth. The elemental diet can work for all types of SIBO, including hydrogen dominant, methane dominant or IMO, or hydrogen sulfide. Does the elemental diet work? According to a 2004 study reviewing 93 people who had SIBO, the elemental diet was 80% effective on normalizing results of a lactulose breath test. What does this mean a little bit more simply? It means that patients that did have IBS symptoms such as constipation, diarrhea, abdominal discomfort, bloating, and also an abnormal lactulose breath test, meaning when they did the test, they had a higher than normal level of hydrogen, methane, etc. But then after they were treated with the elemental diet for 14 days, they did another lactulose breath test and measured the results. And for 80% of these people, their levels of hydrogen, methane were reduced underneath the normal level. This test was done in 2004, so at this point, they're definitely not measuring the hydrogen sulfide component, but at least the hydrogen and the methane components were measured. Considering this, how well it actually works is probably the biggest pro for the elemental diet. Another one is that it may allow for faster gut healing. When you're using this elemental diet, the majority of the small intestines is not being used. Remember, it was about six meters or 17 feet, is receiving no food, doesn't have to digest any nutrients. Therefore, your body can focus its attention on repairing a lot of those cells in that specific area of the small intestines while it is not digesting food. On the other hand, there are several cons to using the elemental diet as well. Number one is taste. Although there's many different brands and styles of the elemental diet, I've never heard anybody rave about the taste of one of them. If you have tried one and you really like the taste, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what it is and I applaud your mental fortitude. 
but I've heard far more times that having awful taste is a big reason why people refuse to do them or are unable to continue using them. Second is lack of food or lack of being able to eat additional food besides these shakes. These are not protein shakes or something like that that you're using in addition to actual meals. You're literally not allowed to eat any other food besides these shakes for the two to three weeks that you're doing the elemental diet. So if you do have specific workout goals or different macronutrients that you're definitely trying to hit, saying goodbye to all other foods for two to three weeks may not be a suitable option for you. Third issue is just the total cost of it. The total amount obviously depends on how much you buy, which depends on how many calories you're choosing to consume every day. From doing a quick internet search of some common brands, it seems like $600 to a thousand or even more dollars is a normal two week cost that you could be paying if you wanted to have about 1800 calories per day, which is not really even that high. Besides the commercial products, you can also have a homemade product and for a two week supply of about an 1800 to 2000 calorie per day diet, it seemed like the cost of making your own at home would cost about $300 to $400. Definitely expensive. On the other hand, you don't have to buy food for two to three weeks. Fourth con I'm seeing is, depending on which product you get, some of them do have some sketchy-ish ingredients in there that I definitely wouldn't recommend normally putting into your body. One product that I kind of highlighted on this is a product called Vivinex, which is made by Nestle. Just showing you the ingredients real quick here, it looks like there's an inflammatory oil, soybean oil, and then there's also carrageenan in it. Not sure if I said that right, but that has actually been linked to cancer. It's a sort of thickening agent that they put in a lot of foods. Depending on which other products you look at as well, there can be dairy, soy, corn, and other potentially inflammatory ingredients or items that people commonly have a sensitivity to. And if you do have a food sensitivity to some of these, it can make it very difficult to get through treatment without having negative reactions. On the other hand, I did notice that there were some other elemental diets such as Integrative Therapeutics, Physician's Elemental Diet. Instead of a soybean oil, there's an MCT oil, which is way better. And then there's also tapioca maltodextrin in it, which is different from the maltodextrin in probably most of the other ones that's derived from corn, which a lot of people are sensitive to. If you search online, you will see a variety of other products as well. Circling back to the homemade elemental diets, one of the popular SIBO doctors, Dr. Allison Seebecker, actually has one on her website, SIBOinfo.com. Uh, she does have a disclaimer on here. This recipe has not been formally tested. Its safety, tolerability, and effectiveness is unknown. So keep that in mind. I wanted to see what the total price was on this and what the ingredients are. I'm gonna read this off just to make it easier. So it's 1,000 grams of Joe Mar Labs amino acids, black later, pure form 21 blend. This is at $204. Again, these prices are for a two week supply. There's also about 2,300 grams or five pounds or 80 ounces of honey. And that is about $30 or you can substitute that with dextrose powder. She has now brand on there, which costs about $50 for that tub. There's also about 1,900 milliliters or 64 ounces of MCT oil, which goes for about $50. A lot of these prices, I'm just looking on Amazon to see a ballpark amount. Uh, there's 90 capsules of Pure Encapsulations Nutrient 950 Multivitamins. That's $30. Uh, I'm not sure if you take all those capsules, but I'm assuming you open them up and drop them into the powder to use. We have one bottle of salt, preferably unrefined real salt or Celtic salt. I put roughly $10 for that. And then you can add vanilla flavorings in small amounts, which is around $10, I'll say. So grand total looks like it's about $350, give or take where you're getting these ingredients from. So definitely a lot more reasonable than some of the commercial options. In conclusion, the elemental diet does seem to work pretty well. So it may be a suitable option if you are willing to give up all other food for a few weeks willing to pay the price of it and are willing to tolerate the poor taste of it. If you have completed an elemental diet or attempted one, please let me know in the comments below. That is everything for today. If you've been diagnosed with SIBO or suspect you may have SIBO, go to my website at drdanielricciardi.com, scroll to the bottom, and there's an area to send me a message to get a free 30 minute consultation. I can give you some advice and determine if you're a candidate to work with me. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for additional videos. I post a full length video every Monday at 6 p.m. Central Time. Take care.